We are off to Trinidad and Tobago. The southernmost island in the Caribbean, Trinidad and Tobago is a twin republic island nation known as the land of Calypso, Steelpan, Limbo and Tassa. It is home to a diverse population with a mix of African, Indian, Chinese and European influences. The island is known for its rich, vibrant culture, history and natural beauty and is home to a number of festivals and events, the biggest being Carnival. It is also home to a number of natural attractions and a variety of tropical birds. The island offers a range of activities and attractions for visitors, including beaches, water sports, hiking, bird watching, and fetting. It is a unique and beautiful destination that is a must visit for anyone looking to enjoy a true Caribbean vacation. Trinidad and Tobago has a gold mine of places to see and things to do. Join us as we explore our must-dos while visiting Trinidad and Tobago. Number 10. Mount St. Benedict Monastery Founded in 1912, Mount St. Benedict is located near the town of Tunapuna, Trinidad. The monks follow a set of guidelines for monastic life that emphasizes the importance of a balanced life centered on the values of hospitality, obedience, and stability. They follow a daily schedule that includes periods of prayer, work and study, as well as time for rest and recreation. The monastery is known for its production of traditional Trappist products, including bread, cheese and yogurt. The monastery is located in a beautiful natural setting and is a popular destination for visitors seeking a peaceful retreat or a chance to learn more about monastic life. Visitors are welcomed to visit the monastery and participate in the daily life of the community, including attending services and joining the monks for meals. Number 9. Gaspari Cape Located off the northwest coast of Trinidad on the island of Gaspar Grande, you would find the Gaspari Caves. These limestone caves are known for their stalactites, stalagmites, flowstones, and crystal pools. The Blue Grotto is the largest of these caves. 100 feet below the Blue Grotto, one will find a magnificent, mysterious, crystal clear tidal pool. A variety of birds can also be found on the island, including the yellow headed parrot and the street saldator. The caves are open to the public for tours and are a popular destination for both locals and tourists. Number 8. Karini Swamp The Karini Swamp is a wetland located in the central part of Trinidad. The swamp is home to a diverse array of plant and animal life, including a variety of birds, reptiles and amphibians. It is also an important habitat for the endangered scarlet ibis, one of the two national birds for the island. The Karani Swamp is a protected area and is a popular destination for bird watchers and nature enthusiasts. The Karani Swamp has faced a number of challenges including deforestation, pollution and habitat destruction. Efforts are being made to preserve and protect the swamp. Despite these challenges, the Karani Swamp remains an important and unique ecosystem in Trinidad and Tobago. Number 7. The Pitch Lake This natural asphalt lake is located in southwestern Trinidad near the town of La Brea, better known as La Brea. It is the largest natural deposit of asphalt in the world, covering about 100 acres. The Pitch Lake is formed by the accumulation of heavy crude oil that has seeped up to the surface of the earth and solidified. The asphalt is mined from the lake and is used in a variety of products, including asphalt for roads and roofs. The lake was a source of asphalt for the British during the construction of the Transatlantic Telegraph Cable in the 19th century. Today. The Pitch Lake is a popular tourist attraction and visitors can take guided tours of the lake and see the asphalt be in mind. It is also home to a variety of plant and animal life, including microorganisms that are able to survive in the harsh conditions of the lake. Number 6. The Buku Reef This coral reef is located off the west coast of Tobago. It is one of the most popular tourist attractions in Tobago and is known for its clear turquoise waters and diverse marine life. The reef is home to a variety of coral species, including brain, staghorn and elkhorn coral, as well as a variety of fish, including parrotfish, angelfish and damselfish. The Buku Reef is a protected area and is part of the Tobago Buku Reef Marine Park, 
which was established in 1996 to protect the reef and the surrounding marine environment. Visitors to the Buku Reef can take glass bottom guided boat tours of the reef and participate in a variety of activities such as snorkeling and diving. Fun fact! Did you know that the first Black Miss Universe hailed from Trinidad and Tobago? Oh yes! In 1977, Janelle Penny Miss Young represented Trinidad and Tobago in the Miss Universe competition. She went on to win the hearts of the judges and was crowned Miss Universe, making her the first black woman to ever win the Miss Universe title. Enjoying our content? Then don't hesitate. Subscribe, like, share, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out when we take flight. Number 5. San Fernando Hill Looking for a place to relax and enjoy a tranquil scenery? Well, San Fernando Hill is the place to visit. Officially known as Naparima Hill, this hill lies in the center of the city called San Fernando. It is the second highest point in Trinidad and Tobago and is a popular spot for hiking, picnicking, and relaxing. In general, San Fernando Hill is a great place to spend a day as it offers a combination of beautiful nature, history, and recreation opportunities. It is a very peaceful and scenic location that provides a welcome escape from the hustle and bustle of city life. Number 4. Visit Paramin Village Located in the northern range of Trinidad, Paramin Village is known for its beautiful natural surroundings and its rich cultural heritage. Outside of English, the villagers speak Patois and farming is the way of life for most. Paramin is home to a number of traditional festivals and events, including the Harvest, a celebration to commemorate the end of the agricultural cycle, their famous Parang Festival held every Christmas season, and their depiction of Blue Devils every Carnival season. In addition to its natural beauty and cultural heritage, Paramin is also known for its food and drinks. The village is famous for its Paramin pepper sauce, which is made from locally grown peppers and other spices. The village is also home to a number of small farms and plantations where a variety of crops including cabbage, tomato, thyme, local herbs and citrus fruits are grown. Mountain Jeep tours are available as a visit to Paramin is something every tourist and local should experience. Number 3. Nylon Pool The Nylon Pool is a popular tourist attraction located in Tobago. It is a small shallow pool located in the middle of the ocean. The Nylon Pool is known for its clear crystal waters, making it a popular spot for swimming and snorkeling. The pool is located near the Buku Reef and it is home to a variety of marine life including fish, turtles and other sea creatures. It is also believed that the pool has magical powers. Swimming in the pool can reverse the effects of aging by 10 years. And couples who share a kiss under the water will have a lifetime of happiness. Number 2. Maracas Beach Located on the island of Trinidad, Maracas Beach is known for its beautiful white sand, clear waters and panoramic views of the Caribbean Sea. It is a popular spot for swimming, sunbathing and other beach activities. It is also a popular spot for surfing as the beach is known for its strong waves. The beach is home to a number of restaurants and food stalls which serve a variety of local dishes including the very popular Bake and Shark. In addition to its natural beauty, Maracas Beach is known for its cultural and historical significance. The beach is located near the village of Maracas Bay which is home to the tallest waterfall in the Caribbean. The Maracas Waterfall, also known as the St. Augustine Falls, is over 250 feet tall and is surrounded by lush tropical vegetation. Maracas Beach is located about a 30-minute drive from Porto, Spain, and it is a popular day trip destination for tourists visiting the island. Number 1. The Queen's Park Savannah the Queen's Park Savanna covers an area of approximately 256 acres and is one of the largest traffic circles in the world. It is surrounded by a number of important landmarks and cultural institutions. The Savannah is home to a number of statues and memorials, including the Monument to Independence, which commemorates Trinidad and Tobago's independence from Great Britain in 1962. It is a popular destination for events and festivals, including the annual carnival festivities. 
You can find the National Academy of the Performing Arts, the Royal Botanic Gardens, the Emperor Valley Zoo, the Hollows, the National Museum and Art Gallery, Queen's Hall, and the President's Official Residence while venturing around the savannah. You can also find the historical mansions known as the Magnificent Seven, Queen's Royal College, Hayes Court, the Archbishop's Palace, White Hall, Mills Flu, Romor, and Stormyers Castle. The savannah is also a popular spot to indulge in a variety of local delicacies. Vendors set up food stalls daily and visitors can buy a variety of local foods, including pilori, oysters, corn soup, ice cream, barbecue pigtails, and fresh coconuts, just to name a few. And there you have it, our top 10 must-see in Trinidad and Tobago. Have you visited any of these sites? Leave a comment and let us know. And don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and hit that notification bell. Until next time, safe travels.